Hi, I'm Drew Larson, the founding co-owner of Leaders Beverage Consulting. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to disassemble, clean, and reassemble a standard rear shutoff beer faucet. So again, here we have a standard rear shutoff draft faucet. Now it's called a rear shutoff because the plunger actually comes right here. So as the lever is closed, the faucet comes back or the plunger comes back and stops the flow of beer. So we want to clean this every two weeks. It needs to come off the system, be taken completely apart and cleaned. Typically in a good operation what will happen is once it's taken apart it will soak in caustic as the caustic is being circulated through the draft system. So let's take this sucker apart. This is called the collar. So you'll take the collar off and that collar you are going to use a nylon brush get inside that collar the best you can you can put that to the side then we have the bonnet here and that bonnet the tighter you screw this bonnet the tighter it makes the lever and you'll see why because on here we have what's called the friction washer which is the little black washer and you want to inspect that washer as you'll inspect every gasket to make sure that it's not frayed or uh, condensed too much. Then we have the ball washer here. Now this is called a ball washer because if you can see, it's beveled. And that bevel sits on top of that ball and rotates. So you want to make sure that bevel is down when you put it back together. So we'll clean that. And what's really important here is that we make sure that there's no black mold or bacteria growing because it's a really great place for it to, to harbor and hide itself. So then we'll clean off the lever. We'll put that back together and we'll put it over to the side. Now we're going to take off what we have here is the faucet shaft assembly. Now it's called a shaft assembly because it's actually made of three parts. We have the faucet shaft nut at the very back and the seat washer. There's no need to take this all the way apart, but you can still take a look and make sure there's no problems here. If that washer is damaged in any way, it can cause leaking. So we're going to clean this too. We're going to try to get in between and through that hole. Then we come to the shaft body. Very important here. First, we're going to clean it all. We want to inspect the faucet washer. And you can see that there's a washer in there. And you're going to make sure that that washer too is nice and clean. There's, there's no breaks or frays in it because that will cause a whole lot of leaking too. Now you're going to use your nylon brush and you're going to go through the bore and down the shaft and through the top. Now there's something very important here. There's a vent hole here and there's a vent hole then again inside that leads to the interior. Those vent holes need something small. Sometimes you can get the nylon brush in there and then sometimes what you'll need to do is use maybe a, a dental tool or something. Nothing that'll break off in it though because you certainly don't want it to break. Once all that's cleaned we can go ahead and put it together. So, clean by hand every two weeks in caustic. You should know where the MSDS or material safety data sheet is for that caustic. And as we're talking about caustic, I'll say that you also notice I'm wearing gloves. You always wanna wear gloves and even eyewear because you don't want any of that to splash up on you or hurt you. So we've soaked it in the caustic, we disassembled it, we used a nylon brush and the bore and we had small holes, we looked for exposed brass. Now, when I say we're gonna look for exposed brass, you can see this faucet here, for example. All that exposed brass, that's because this was a chrome-plated faucet. Now, we highly recommend not using chrome-plated faucets just for this reason. It's maybe eight or nine dollars more for a stainless steel, and I would say that's far worth it for the life of the faucet, because this will never expose you to brass. You can tell if you have a brass faucet because you'll often see this brass lever. The other thing is this is much easier to break off if you're pulling on that tap marker too hard. So, highly recommend just using stainless steel. This is good for just about ever if you take care of it properly. We've checked all the gaskets. We're nice and clean and that should about do it. If you found this useful, please share it with your friends. Go ahead and download it. And if you would, use the buttons below to share the content out because by sharing it helps us grow and being honest in the search engine optimization world and that helps us continue to bring you content. 
or you can go directly to our website. If you have any questions, please post them. You can email us directly at info at leadersbeverage.com. Post your questions below. And if you think there's a video of something you might like to see us do, please let us know that too, because we would love to help you learn. Thanks so much. Our passion is your next drink.